let me ask you one thing. Do you know how many subscriptions you have and how much you pay every single month for them? Most people actually have no idea because they sign up to so many and they end up not knowing how much they spend for them. And more often than not, this number actually surprises because they spend way too much than they actually should be. Guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Kai. Today, we're gonna be talking about the subscription trap. All of us, one way or the other, have subscriptions because company quickly realized instead of selling you expensive products for one-off payment, it's much easier and more profitable to sell you smaller amounts of service or product every single month and keep on charging you. You often hear the saying, sign up for less than a coffee a day. Well, a coffee a day can be $3, so times 30, that's $90. So yeah, I mean, that's quite a bit of money and you would expect something to be less than a coffee a day right but it sounds very nice and it's what marketers use to convince us that something is cheap and we should not think too much uh, when signing up and again for companies very lucrative because the cost of acquiring a new customer is very expensive so if they spend all this time and resources to acquire a new customer they want money in perpetuity so rather than a one-off a regular income is much more profitable for them and started with software as a service Microsoft started for example they used to be a one-off payment that you have all the suites of Microsoft with you but then they changed to a subscription model and now you have to pay monthly to use the services. Adobe like Photoshop and Lightroom, they followed shortly afterwards and now it's a monthly subscription fee. Now I get it, us as users, we want also products and services that keep on being developed and it doesn't come free, right? So they have to pay uh, the developers, the support systems, etc. So obviously companies have an incentive to keep on developing, improving and providing support. So they need to get financially rewarded for that as well. So I do understand there is a monthly subscription fee, but these days a lot of companies, they basically turn anything into a subscription. In recent times, product as a service has become also more and more popular. For example, the Dollar Shave Club. And every month they would send you right to your doorstep fresh new shaving blades. So, you know, amazing. It just makes things easier. The big problem here though is because all those expenses seem so small, often less than $10 a month. When you look at them individually, it's really not too much. But once you start adding them up to a big portion of your total expenses, so it's something we really need to analyze. So that's why it's really important to analyze track them most importantly and then decide what is relevant and what is nice to have that you can cut out of your budget. But the biggest problem is that people don't track their subscriptions and they have them sign up to different credit cards and debit cards so they get lost and they don't see the whole big picture, right? And that's why I recommend you start tracking them. And I've done the same recently and I'm gonna continue doing this every single month to really make sure I know what's happening and what I'm signed up for, right? So what I'm using for this tool is actually Notion. It's an amazing tool. It's quite complex, but basically it allows me to track basically anything my notes my to-do list my youtube ideas and my financials and then there are separate sections for all my subscriptions you can use excel google sheets apple notes whatever just get into the habit of writing them down and then put the amount next to it and then total it up and you will be surprised you probably way overspend on your subscriptions so when we have a look at my subscriptions uh, i was honestly shocked when i asked myself beforehand how much i spend i thought slightly less than 100 euros a month but when I actually wrote it all down, it turned out to be significantly higher. In fact, when you see the total, it's over 200 euros a month. I mean, that's a significant amount of money that I spend every single month. That's almost two and a half thousand euros a year that I'm spending on it. So that's why I really want to make sure I track that and really start questioning each and every single one of them because it's so simple to sign up. But once you sign up, they keep on charging you and you just kind of forget about it and it keeps hitting you every single month. So that's why I started writing them down. And when you can see here, really put them down and I saw Sorted it by biggest to smallest amount to kind of see what are my biggest expenses. And it obviously starts with gym membership. Gym membership, it's something I'm not negotiating because this is for my health and my health is my most important priority in my life. Because if I'm not healthy, I can't be here. I can't be doing well in my career. I can't be there for my family. For me, that's a priority to invest in my health. So 50 euros, even if it's more, I don't really mind. Yeah, as you can see here, that's monthly. It's a must to have and the purpose, that's also important. And uh, you can categorize it here. You can put different categories. Um, but that falls under the health category. So it's a must to have and it's for my health, so no question. Bloomberg All Access, I've done a whole video on reviewing Bloomberg and that's an amazing news tool that I signed up for recently. It cost me almost 37 euros a month, so it's not cheap, it's monthly. And it's a nice to have. It's not a must to have. I can definitely live without it. I might come back to this and cancel in the future. Ecamm, it's a new tool I started recently doing for my YouTube. It's for live streaming and basically screen recording. And it's an amazing tool. It's not cheap, it's 32 euros. But now that I'm monetized on YouTube and start generating money, I can use some of those expenses as a write-off. So again, it's an investment into hopefully something that brings me more revenue down the line. And it's an amazing tool. So I'm probably gonna continue using that. Netflix, uh, that's 14 euros. They recently increased their prices 
and shortly after they drop by almost 200,000 users in the US alone. So a big issue over there. So we might see uh, prices potentially coming down in the future, who knows? But the great thing here is that's actually paid by my crypto.com card. So technically I'm not really paying this though I am, but I'm getting crypto cash back in my crypto.com account. So Technically, I'm not paying for it, but I still wanted to list it over here. Then we have Canva, which is an amazing design platform. If you haven't used it, definitely it's worthwhile. I use the pro version. It's more than worth it. I would pay more if it was more expensive because it's really a lifesaver. I do all my designs over there and it's, it's just amazing. iCloud, of course, being an Apple fanboy, I gotta have iCloud and it's just amazing. It stores all my files, all my photos. It just works marvelously. I have the two terabyte storage uh, and basically it holds all my pictures from, I don't know, more than 10 years, videos, everything. Thing and and yeah I'm, I'm, I just love it and definitely not gonna uh, stop it. Epidemic sounds is for YouTube once again I can write it off uh, but basically I get all my music sound effects from there and it's a great platform as well. F1 TV as you might know I'm a huge F1 fan and honestly these eight euros allow me to watch all the races live and it's more than worth it and if you are a fan as well then let me know in the comments who you think is gonna be the world champion in this year. Next up we have ExpressVPN which is basically VPN and that's for me super important because I often work from airports coffee shops or public workspaces and uh, basically by using a VPN you encrypt your connection otherwise you can get hacked and it just makes things so much easier as well when I book tickets or hotels I can change my location my IP address and change my country and thus get a cheaper deal uh, by booking from another country and honestly these 750 uh, is more than worth it actually it's an annual expense but that's another hack which I recommend you even though you pay annually try to break it down on a monthly basis because it's a one-off and you kind of uh, forget about it, but then break it down how much that one-off would be every single month. And then you can see in the future, is it worth it to renew it? Or once that one year is up, maybe you can cancel it. So don't forget about annual expenses as well. Break them down into single ones, even those charge annually, and then you just have them on your radar. Spotify, another amazing app I can't live without. And here, once again, the amazing part that crypto.com actually pays for my Spotify by having the crypto.com Visa debit card. I have the Royal Indigo card and that gives me free uh, Spotify and Netflix access. And if you want the same, then use the link in the description below to get you started. Then I have Revolut Premium. As you know, I'm a huge Revolut fan, but recently though, having transferred a lot to Crypto.com and Nexo, I've been using less and less of Revolut. And now I'm actually thinking, is it still worth paying for it? It's amazing for exchanging money and sending it overseas. And by being premium, you have a high allowance but now the less I use it and might stop it. So I still have it on my radar and a couple of months down the line, I'll probably finish it. But for the time being, I know it's there and I will monitor it if I keep it or not. Then I have TubeBuddy, which is an amazing tool if you want to grow your YouTube and get some great insights. It's an amazing tool that gives you more insights into search traffic, into what's trending, etc. So for me, four euros, it definitely is a bargain. Then there's my bank account. For me, it's still something I can't understand. The bank where I have all my money charges me every time I take my own money out. They don't pay me interest. And now I'm actually going to be charged three euros a month. Now that's a small amount, but still basically I'm giving them my money and they're charging me for it. So really not something I'm really interested in, but sadly in most countries you do need an official bank account. So that's why I only have it. But in the future, hopefully I'll be able to transition away from such traditional bank accounts. And lastly, one password, which is a tool I recommend all of you that basically holds all my passwords, secret logins, etc. It's an amazing tool. And it's the first thing I always install in a new computer or phone because it's so important that you don't reuse the same password but have individual passwords for every single website and recently I checked I had over 200 passwords of 50 characters and some people I've seen they write it on the Word document or on the Apple notes and that's the worst thing because it's not encrypted so use a tool like one password which for me at three years is almost too cheap I would be happy to pay more because it's so important and it keeps my whole online identity safe especially when we talk about online banking accessing your brokers and cryptocurrencies you really want to be safe and have encrypted passwords passwords in place. So there you go guys, over 200 euros a month, that's a big amount and that's why I think it's also important to identify is it must to have, nice to have or not really needed. And once it's not really needed for a couple of months, just take it off, unenroll, unsubscribe and just get out of it. But of course, don't unsubscribe from this channel. In fact, if you haven't yet, please do subscribe. And best of all, it's for free. So I challenge you to write down all of your subscriptions and the amount against it, and you'll be surprised how much you spend. And if you are comfortable to share, then please let me know in the comments how much you spend every single month on all of your subscriptions. I'd be really interested to know. Check out the video over here. As always, guys, I really appreciate you. Thank you so much for watching. It means the world to me. Stay healthy, get wealthy, and I'll see you in the next one. Ciao.